Today I wanted to talk to you about the social, me uh, sorry, social media monitoring underneath this main topic of smart digital tools. We've discussed a lot of different smart tools over the last couple of months. And one of the questions that kept popping up in some of the other sessions as well is how do I monitor my social media a bit better? So I thought I'd go into that today and just have a look at, um, I'll give you some examples of some of those tools that are out there and then I'll actually go in and show you one that I use uh, in particular. It doesn't mean that you have to use it, but I just thought I'd show you the back end of that so you can see potentially what it's all about and what you can do with it. So first of all, so there's two terms that you may have heard that's getting around out there a little bit. So there's social listening versus social media tracking. So they are two very, very closely linked, but they are two different things. So basically your social listening is just that. It's telling, it's your listening about what your audience is saying about you or your brand or your product, your service or whatever the case may be. And it's that customer feedback. It's people who are mentioning your brand. It's any sort of those conversations that are going out, out and about in that wide space out there. So that's the social listening. And then the social tracking is basically is how they're saying it. So where are they saying it um, and how are they saying it? So is it comments? Is it um, reviews? Are they direct messaging you? Um, whatever the case may be. So there is a slight difference between the two. Um, and you're probably with your business already, you're probably doing both already um, organically yourselves without even realizing that you're doing this social listening and this social media tracking. So don't think that I'm bringing out anything new that you have to go and do. It's This is just putting it into a frame so that we understand the difference between the two. So from here, who's out there? So there's lots of platforms. So you can see I've got Sprout Social there, Hootsuite, Buffer, HubSpot, Tailwind, Iconosquare, and there's, there's a ton more out there. These are the ones that I have um, um, I've known in the past, and they all offer different opportunities. They all give you something different in, in reporting and tracking and so forth. Um, and most of them will do both the social listening as well as the tracking, and they'll also do more. So a lot of these platforms will, for instance, actually all of the ones I'm looking at right now, they'll all give you even the ability to schedule, to publish um, and to put out all your posts out that way as well. So if you didn't particularly want to use, for instance, Facebook's organic platform called Creator Studio, and maybe you want a little bit more in-depth information or maybe perhaps you want it to not just go to Facebook and Instagram, but you want to go to Twitter, Pinterest or any of the other platforms, then one of these platforms might be better for you so that you've got control of everything in one spot. Um, and they all, as I said, they all do slightly different things. They all produce slightly different reports, but at the end of the day, most of them will do um, very similar um, aspects of this social tracking and the social listening. So let me, I'm going to show you the one that I have used recently and still using. And that one's called Iconosquare. So Iconosquare originally, it was only for Instagram. And then they decided, no, we're going to pull it out. And we're going to actually produce it a little bit further than that. And they now do quite a lot of what we were just talking about before. So they do the tracking, they do the listening and so forth. So you can see here, this is this, when you log in, this is the initial statistics, statistic, sorry, that you'll get in front of you as an overview to your platform. So this particular one is just plugging in Instagram. I haven't plugged in the other ones yet um, at this stage, but I will eventually. So this one, the stats that you're seeing at the moment are just purely Instagram stats. So you can see here, it gives you an overview of where you're at right now. So it gives you the, you know, your followers, it gives you percentages of reach and compressions and engagement rates and so forth. So this is really good if, for instance, you've got to provide reports to someone or if you've got to provide updates to a team or updates to a board, if you've got a board or something like that. So these are really good because you can pull the data pretty quickly. Um, and if you need something to grab um, and look at, then 
it's it's all at your fingertips basically so it's a really quick nice little area to actually grab all the information that you need and if we keep going down you can see it gives you your follower growth and this is as, again this is instagram gives you your engagement history and this is just the front page so we haven't even delved any further yet and this is just the front page um, this will give you your stats over a period of time. So at the moment, uh, for some reason, I'm coming at 2020. So let me just go to the last 30 days and give you some better um, outlook there. So as you can see, I can change it to any time frame I want. I can also do a comparison for the same period last year, or I can do it for a previous period as in this month versus last month, for instance, if I wanted to do that. So if you wanted to see comparison results, you can see here, um, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> this one is a little bit down um, in impressions and reach, but there are reasons for that. So that's okay, I'm not too worried about that one. Um, and then you can see your, your history uh, with your posts and so forth, any stories that you've posted, um, the lifespan of likes and so forth. And there's a lot of information here that you're, that's at your fingertips. And that's just your front overview page. So if we have a look further at the analytics, you can see you can go by engagement, by community, by reach, by profile, by stories and so forth. So there's a lot of information that you can get from here. So if we had a look at engagement, for instance, so engagement, you can see, we're down a little bit, um, but that's okay. Um, so you can see your stats that are coming through. You can see the time of the day that people are engaging with your posts. And again, it gives you your uh, rate over history and so forth, and your likes, comments, and, and it, it's as much stats as you absolutely want. And by the way, the stats that are on this page are what I want to see. You can manoeuvre this dashboard the way, however you want it. So you may not want this information in front of you, but you might want something else. So you can easily go and uh, drop in the stats onto this dashboard, however you wish to actually use it. Now, the other thing that you can look at here is your content. So you can look at your posts and stories in a separate area. So you can see all the posts and stories that, have, um, that are actually posted on that particular account. Um, and then you can come down into publishing. So if you wanted to, you could use this as a scheduler. You can use this as a media library. You can even save captions um, and lists of information for you um, in this platform as well. So this is, as I said, this is just one platform. So the majority of them will do a lot of this, the same sort of things. It could just be the way it's, it looks or feels and the reports that you can potentially pull out. Here is your conversations. Um, so in here, and sorry, um, it hasn't updated yet, so it's not going to do it for me at the moment. So the conversations will populate in here. And then this is your listening. So anytime where you can see a little lock here, it means I'm not on a plan that is uh, high enough to enable me to do that yet. So if I pay to a next level up or one up after that, then it will potentially unlock that door for me, so to speak. But what I do like in here, is this industry benchmark, for instance. So it's telling me what other pages that are similar or accounts that are similar to this one, what the rest of the industry is doing. So you can see, you know, we're not far off the mark here that the industry has got an average follower growth rate of 2.84. We're sitting at about 2.68. So that's actually not too bad. And then it goes down to engagement rate and so forth per post and it goes into comparative tables and so forth that gives you a lot more in-depth information as well. And then you can see the types of po po sorry posts that are published um, versus yours in industry and then so forth. So lots of great information to sort, sort of go off industry benchmark. And then the other great one that's in here is you can add in competitors. So for instance, in this one, I've put in a couple of competitors just to see where we're at against them and then they'll give you some stats against those as well. So where we're currently sitting um, and if we're happy with the way it's going and so forth. So you can see uh, when they last posted, they can, you know, uh, information around their followers and their comments and likes and so forth. So you can roughly get an idea of where you're sitting in the market. So it's really good uh, tool. 
And then the last one you've got is hashtags, which I checked earlier and it hadn't updated yet. No, it's still updating. But here it would bring in all the data around the hashtag that I've identified for this particular account. So it gives you a lot of great information. So you can do quick checks in here instead of, you know, maybe sitting there on your phone. You can come into here and all the data is simply dropped into this area for you on this dashboard. So it's a great way to actually give you all of the information at your fingertips. And as I said before, there's lots of different um, platforms that are out there. There's lots of opportunities. Some will offer a free trial. Some will offer um, a free um, account in the first instance, depending upon what you're after, or some will give you the free trial and then there's a, pro a paid plan after, the, after that. So it just depends what information you want to pull out of it. And it's a really good idea to have one of these platforms, especially if you've got yourself spread across multiple social media platforms. So if you've got I'd say if you've got more than that's outside of Facebook and Instagram, so if you've got the likes of Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, um, or any of the other ones that are out there, if you've got more than those basic two, then I would seriously suggest looking at something like one of these tools because it will enable you to get a lot of information uh, at your fingertips quicker and it will allow you to then publish across multiple platforms at the same time as well. So something to think about. Um, so have a think about and see whether or not it's something that you would be interested in. Um, go and check it out. Look, there's nothing to stop you from signing up to a free account for a trial period or just even a trial, um, you know, one with Hootsuite, for instance, they allow from memory up to five accounts or social profiles that you can load for free. Um, it may not unlock all the doors to the reporting and all the rest of it that we were talking about before but it will give you a very good indication in the first instance. And then you can decide whether or not you'd like to upgrade to a paid plan. Uh, have a great day, everybody. If wherever you are, if you've got weather like us today on the Sunshine Coast, it's not great outside, so stay safe. Um, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye, have a great day.